<laughs> oh hey, it's me Danjo. Today I'm gonna challenge myself to do a photo shoot in 15 minutes. But first, let's run that intro. Why, hello there. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Welcome to my crazy person's apartment today. Can you give me the story of Frankenstein again? Um, on the 1st of the 1st, 2018, he turned 200 years old. At that prospect, I decided to spend the following year until his 201st birthday creating 200 artworks of him. A out of 200, how many do you think I managed to do? Did you do seven? About three or four. <laughs> <laughs> but. That's three or four more than you had the year before. Exactly. It's like sometimes as artists we set ourselves these lofty goals and these challenges. Even another one made of cigarette ash. You made that out of cigarette ash? Well, I did the writing part of it. It all says Frankenstein. Oh. Yeah. And, and then I painted it with um, cigarette ash water. Oh man, this says Frankenstein everywhere. Oh, it's so cool. If you want to see Dean create more Frankenstein pieces, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Oh, wait. There's so much. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Everything's constantly a work in progress. That's okay. It should always be a work in progress. There's so much natural light. This is great. We have a little roof terrace. Yes. So what part of town is this? Saracock. This is pretty cute. I like it. A trash to treasure. I love it. Sign of a true artist right there. Work with what you got. If you don't got anything, use trash. Hi guys. What's up? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Hey Danjo, like and subscribe. Thanks. You'll see you guys in a couple weeks. <laughs> Everyone loves a camera. Oh, I like that a lot. How the labor left it as long as we have. At least we're doing something now. Yeah. If you beat yourself up for how much time you wasted before, you'll never continue to grow and make something in the yeah, future. That's true. And well, then, the thought of starting is just too overwhelming. It's always starting, and that's with anything. I feel once you start doing it, it's much easier oh, to well. actually continue doing it. Yeah. Even just starting to do more today in preparation for you to come over makes me want to do more. It yeah. starts to build momentum. It's fun to have <laughs> somebody else to help encourage encourage you, push you forward. And I mean, that's what I want to do. So, so far I'm having a pretty fun day, feeling creative, in the process of putting together the look that we want. I've made this like, I'm gonna paint it right now. Sometimes it's fun to challenge yourself to just work with what you have. Be surprised what you'll create. I'm pretty excited about what's gonna happen. We haven't even taken a photo yet, but I'm just, you know, the creative energy is around and it feels fun to be working with a friend on a project like this. All right, so we're about ready to go do this photo shoot. It's definitely gonna be a challenge with the time constraint. Hope you guys enjoy. Woo! I've got my timer here set for 15 minutes. Okay, just so you guys know what I'm shooting with, I've got my Canon 7D Mark II. I've got a 17 to 55 f2.8, and then I've got two flash set up. 15 minutes on the clock, starting now. All right. Look right there, nice. Let me see. Cool. Oh, super cool. All right, let's move to the next location. Right over there. I'm gonna grab the camera. <laughs> we got this yellow door. I'll, I'll grab some stuff now. Yeah, go ahead and come on over. Right, we gotta move. There's not enough light here. <laughs> Get a little bit more light in this situation. Like just in the middle here. Yeah. Yep. Ah. 
Hi, thank you. You know, we've worked hard, so we deserve some pizza, right? This was a fun challenge. I'm glad that we were able to do this. If you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button in the face. Subscribe if you're not already. If you'd like this 15 minute photo shoot challenge, let me know in the comments. I'll do some more of them in the future. I think it was kind of fun. So once again, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Do you want to see the failed costume? No one's seen it. Great. Okay, quick backstory. Uh, Dean, every year for Halloween, always creates an elaborate Halloween costume. So I always set the standard way too high for myself each year. Too many ideas. Yeah. Now in hindsight, I don't know how I would have got up the winding staircase to 30 in Rob's place. <laughs> because this is what... What it would have been? I was going to be going as. Let's see. Like I said, it's not finished, which is why I never went. It was a little bit of an over-ambitious decision a little, to do. A little crazy. Oh. It is even already too tall it's already for the apartment. Massive. So I don't even know how it's gonna get into it. <laughs> it just I was cleaning one day <laughs> and this door was open and as soon as I come around the corner, this had fallen out. Oh no. And it was just his head looking no. at me. And I actually scared the <laughs> out of myself. I forgot he was in the wardrobe. I walked up the stairs and looked around the corner and just got this. Oh no. Uh.